Ireland get the job done against Scotland. 22 points to 13. Good game. I watched this one after the Wales and Italy game because it was on in the middle of the night here in New Zealand. Uh, I'm fortunate that the commentators in that Wales and Italy game did not mention the score. So I didn't check social media or anything. Went into this one pretty much as if, as if I was watching it live. And I'm glad I did because, yeah, it certainly had some pretty good moments in this one. Uh, Scotland early lead with the penalty, but Ireland with the first try. Murray going in after 10 minutes. And it was kind of a theme with this one. And that you either needed a mistake from the opposition or kind of very good X factor to be able to score points. This first one was a mistake. Uh, Stockdale's chipped through. Bit of miscommunication between Seymour who fetched the ball and, uh, and Maitland who was coming around and the ball ended up going nowhere. Murray takes to the scraps. Um, five points to nil. Sexton misses the conversion. Looks a bit uncomfortable. And that's a perhaps worrying thing. I haven't read anything subsequently about two of these key players, but both Hogg and Sexton did not last the game. Sexton lasted, I think, just under, what was that, just over 20 minutes? Hogg just over 15. So not very good if you're fans of either of those teams. Hopefully both of them have just kind of got dead legs or something not too serious uh, there's a rest week next week so a bit of recovery time needed perhaps for those guys but yeah both of those key guys went off um and interestingly not long after hog went off and they had a new fullback on perhaps that back three for scotland wasn't settled ireland pulled this this little set play inside ball with sexton again being the, the key man there uh stockdale just goes blazing through and uh nobody's there to to stop him Fullback can't get to him, Kinghorn. So, yeah, very slick move. So I'm talking about X Factor. It took that to get the score. At that point, uh, Ireland are looking fairly good at 12 points to three. Scotland have a, a good little move of their own. Timo rules that there's a full pass, a forward pass in the build up. Whether they would have got it anyway, they didn't really focus too much. It looked like um, Seymour had either lost it or uh, Johnson had perhaps gone out. So, it probably wasn't going to be a try either way, but. It didn't matter. Uh, however, not long after, uh, Carberry, who came on for, for Sexton, had his pass intercepted. He didn't have the easiest start, Carberry, but he did settle in once the game got on. Uh, yeah, his pass was intercepted by Finn Russell. Finn Russell was gone like the clappers, but it wasn't going to be enough. Earls did really well to pull him down. But Russell, just that presence of mind to know that there was a support runner coming and from his back managed to pop the ball up to Johnson I don't know how he did that literally on his back just kind of I guess looking that way sees Johnson coming that way Carberry's gone the other way flicks it to Johnson Johnson goes around untouched uh Scotland right back in the game halftime it is 12 points to 10 in Ireland's favor game on and uh Scotland were doing all right statistically like they said that in the first half, Ireland spent 15 seconds in the Scottish 22. So when they were going, it was just cutting straight through. They weren't encamping there and kind of laying siege to the Scottish line. But the Scots had a more than four minutes in the Irish 22. So they were putting on some pressure. But man, the Scottish errors. Some of it was under defensive pressure. But just so many knock-ons or, or times they got turned over. It was, well, it was frustrating for me as a neutral trying to see them just starting to build some phases and then they would stuff it up and uh yeah i mean kudos to that irish defense because they were there was one point where they held out i think it was like 20 plus phases so yeah their, their defensive system was really working well i'm not able to break them down second half um island turned down uh, a three-point chance but didn't get anything from it at that point but about 10 minutes later uh, earl's got his try carberry and i'm talking x factor again Carberry somehow went through two forwards. They both looked like they had a hand on him, like fairly decent amount of muscle to, to wrap around him, but just went straight through. Uh, very good little play. Gets the ball to, to Earls, who goes in for a try. I think there was some, some review about the pass, but it was backwards out of the hands was the ruling, so that was all good. Just 19 points to 10. Uh, Scotland get a penalty to bring it back to kind of one score, uh, 19 points to 13, but then Carberry gets a penalty after the island go about 25 phases. So Scotland were holding, 
doing the smart thing, but Strauss kind of a bit lazy, laying all over the ball, and then um, you know Ireland took it beyond one score again. So 22 points to 13 is the way it finished. No bonus point for Scotland, which is perhaps a bit disappointing. They, uh, they probably deserved it based on the performance levels, but again, those errors were just pretty costly. Ireland, you feel like they're still, still revving up. Like they were off the pace last week, away from home in Murrayfield. They they had to up their game, and they did. But you still feel like there's room there. Like Wales, I feel like they're they're not quite at a hundred percent yet. Uh, England, we're still yet to see if they can maintain their their high flying start. They've only played the one game as I record this, but um, yeah, twenty two points to thirteen. Ireland, in theory, could have gone uh, for another try for a bonus point. That would have been that would have been an amazing result, but uh, not to be. So, yeah, they'll definitely take a win if you're Irish. Still alive in the comp. Um, for for Scotland, it's probably pretty disappointing that this puts the pressure back on them to now go and win away, and they've got a trip to Twickenham. Uh, this is the last round, so it's not going to get any easier. Um, but yeah. No hog, no sexton. We'll see if they come right. Both sides defensively very sound. Ended up tackling at 87% for Scotland, 85 for Ireland. So pretty solid. Scotland ended up making 176 tackles. Uh, Ireland 133. So both sides needing to be very good defensively. Um, Scotland too many errors. As I said, the knock-ons. But also the line-out. Like Ireland's line-out was operating at 100%. And uh, Best and Cronin both get criticized at times for their line-out throwing. But... Scotland were at 70, so not good. Uh, run meters 388 to 365 actually in Scotland's favor, but key points for Ireland, 59% position, 55% territory. Uh, Russell was the top man for run meters for Scotland. Gilchrist for defense, 25 out of 25 tackles. But Carney for, for Ireland, back in the lineup, um, usually more praised for his defensive work, was the kind of top man, 88. Uh, run meters was the best of, of, the, of the whole game. Uh, three clean breaks, five defenders beaten. Uh, Conan had 19 out of 21 tackles. My daughter's crying, so she must be upset that Scotland lost. Either way, both sides are alive. Scotland are in third now. Um, Ireland are in fourth. Still that game to play between England and France, so things could still change up before the week is done. But yeah, overall enjoyed the game. As I said, still think both teams have got more to offer in terms of uh, where they can go. But... Um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on the game, key performers, key moments, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.